Hi kids! Today we will learn about pollination and fertilization in plants. So let's start. We learned that all living beings reproduce. That is, all living things give birth to the same kind. And similarly, plants too reproduce their own kind. And most of the plants reproduce through seeds. That is, they produce seeds which when it germinates and produces a new plant. Let's see how these seeds are produced. We learnt the structure of a flower in our last assignment. This is pedicel, which is a green color stalk. Then this broader part is a receptacle. And all other parts are arranged in four whorls. The first whorl is of green sepals. Second is colorful petals. Third is stamens, which is the male reproductive part. Fourth is carpal or pistil, which is the female reproductive part. Stamen consists of a long stalk called filament and a swollen head called anther. It consists of numerous very small pollens, which are male reproductive cells. Pistil consists of a sticky structure called stigma, attached to a long tube-like structure called style. And style ends in a swollen part called ovary. And this ovary contains the female reproductive cells, ovules. When pollens from the anther of stamen joins with the ovules present in the ovary, we call it fertilization. Let's revise. When pollens from the anther of stamen joins with the ovules present in the ovary, it is called fertilization. And fertilization forms the seeds inside the ovary. And after fertilization, this ovary changes into a fruit. That's why seeds are there inside the fruit. Now let's see what is pollination. Pollination is a process by which pollen is transferred from the anther, that is, the male part, to the stigma, which is the female part of the plant, thereby enabling the fertilization and reproduction in turn. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!